Welcome to the channel. This is Waga. Um, we're going to continue building up uh, our chill lab. And last time we worked on the profile page such that when a user logs in, they get the profile page. And in the profile page, they fill out their interests, what they're looking for, who they are, their birth date, their name, and they put a photo. And then that becomes their profile, right? And also hooking that up to Firebase and sorted out a few things along the way. And actually, that was not the last video. The last video was managing our authentication flow. So we managed our authentication flow. So we're going to continue from there. And if you notice, there's one thing we forgot about our authentication flow. We forgot to hook up our, our logout button. If we click on it right now, we just um, we left it blank like that. We didn't connect it to the authentication block and um, so that you can put in a sign out event so that you can manage our sign out and go back to the login page i believe yeah so basically that's what we're going to do first and after that we're going to start working on our search block this block that you're seeing here right and yeah so we're going to start working on our search block and that's what we're going to do providing the auth authentication block to our logout button here which we built on the tabs page is pretty simple all we need to do is come to tabs and when we come to tabs we go to the icon button this exit to app i think it should have been exit from app or if you can think of a better icon for leaving an app uh, just tell me about it and i will include it and um how you do this is by, of course, just providing. Remember, the block provider is provided, uh, the authentication block is provided to the entire app from the home page, right? We did hook it up in the home page when we were refactoring in a previous video. So, yeah, so basically, the authentication block spans the entire widget tree. And for that, we just need to reach up to it. And for that, obviously, we use the block provider, right? Yeah, so we reach up to um, the authentication block, which is provided to the entire app, all the apps downstream. Because as you know, data flows downwards in Flutter. So for that, we come to our tabs page and we go to where the button is. Where's the button? Here, yeah, okay, yes. So we give ourselves a bit more real estate. And for that, we say block provider, like so. And we hit dot of. And here we have the authentication block. And um, we provide in, of course, the context. And the event we had to add, no prizes for guessing, is, of course, logged out, like so. So we save that. And if we save that, if we hit the button, we should be logged out. So let's try it out. And yes, we get logged out, and after getting logged out, we go to the, because we are unauthenticated, we are, we're no longer logged in, we're unauthenticated, and um, for that, and you see our block, what's it called, block delegate is logging that out, we go back to the login page, and you can, from here you can sign up if you want, or you can log in, so basically that is that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the search block so that we can then implement the search form, no, the search page. Yeah, so we're going to start working on the search block. Okay, let's continue uh, with building our block, our search block. And for that, we come to the block page. Oh, on the right, this is our finished, the finished version um, of what the search page would look like. So you can select or deselect depending on whether you like them and there's also information about their sex the name the age and how far they are from you i already explained why this distance is like this it's because um i was having trouble with the geolocator so i was hard coding some figures but it's all good now so what we could do and i encourage you to do the same um yeah i think i'll show you how to geolocate um to hard code in another video the geolocator but basically just um, in positions, if I can, uh, it's in the profile, what? The profile form. Where is it? Um, the UI. So we come to the pages. 
in the form so profile form how you do that is um, you'd come to the get location and here at GeoPoint you could just uh, comment out this code and we could say location equals geo point position and here you just enter the latitude you want and the longitude and that can be your location if you just want to hard code it that's basically it anyway that's a digression from what we're supposed to do today what we're supposed to do today is come to the block right click and uh, create a new package the new package is going to be called search we hit OK, it appears, we right click, we come back to the block generator, create a new block, call it search, and use equitable, hit OK, and it should generate all our code for us. And so we come to, no, this is sign up. Sorry, I was wondering why it's done. So it's done up. So basically, this is what we have. We have the search state. Uh, we have the search event and we have the search block so basically what you'd expect uh, the basics and of course the battle file that will be used to export it so we're going to start working with the search state as usual and that's what you're going to do next we could do on the search state let's give ourselves more real estate is we could move this to the super class we could just cut this come here move this to the super class like so um i think i've already explained what this code does but uh just one if we can go one more time and um uh what we're doing here we're using equitable to allow us to compare different instances of the such state and we would need to in we would need to use this line to pass in uh, the various properties to the superclass Without this, we will not be able to properly compare instances of um, the search state in the various classes, right? And um, the instances are, uh, in initial state, we don't really need to compare anything. In another one is uh, the, we could just copy this, right? Could you uh, command D? And here we're going to have instead of initial state we're going to have loading state in loading state we also don't need to compare anything loading state and this exchange is such state of course and um, after this we're going to have the the load user state and the load user state is going to compare the current user and the final user so that we can know the information about them and calculate the distance and for that we can say the final going to have user and this is going to have user and current user I didn't name them more creatively but yeah that, that will work and this is complaining because we have not brought in our uh, models you know user is in the model and this are still complaining because we have not created the constructor. So for that, you could press Command N or you could come to constructor fields like so. And that's done. And because we are comparing stuff, we will need to copy this line with the override to Rs, remember. You could copy or you could type it. And here you're going to say what you're comparing at the user, the loading state based on the user and the current user basically yeah so that is if we save like so that is those are our three um states the initial state the loading state the load user state those are the three states that we're going to use in our search page and that is the state page done pretty quick a search event and for that we could just come here like so and we could say override override and um Oh, we could just go here, come to the search state, copy this piece of code, like so. And we could do this, save, and then define the events that our search block will be uh, reacting to.
Yeah. Um, so for that, the first one is uh, we could say is uh, load user load user event. So we could come down here and say class load user event, and this one will extend extends the search event, search event like so. And after it's going to compare um, events based on the user ID. And this is going to be user ID like so. And this is complaining because we haven't done this. And um, afterwards we could go, um, we're going to compare them based on this and pass in, of course, the user ID, like so. And um, after that, we're going to have uh, loaded user event. And um, it's basically going to look the same. So we could copy this, come down here, and paste this and we could say loaded user event and this is going to be loaded user event basically more or less the same and after that um, let's see if that, that format can help us a bit with the formatting and after that we're going to have the select user event in the event that you select them and um, it's going to be much the same except it's going to have a few more fields and this is going to be copy and we're going to come down here and um, this is going to be select user event and um, this is going to be select user event and yeah uh, but it's going to have a few more fields and all of them are going to be string so we could say selected user we need the id we also need um their name which you can see on the page uh we would say name and we also need the photo URL which we get from Fabis. So basically that and we need to declare them here. We could say this dot name comma this dot this dot photo URL and this dot selected user ID like so and then we are going to compare them based on um, um, actually, this is not user ID. This is supposed to be current user ID. So we could correct that to make it current. Current user ID, like so. And we could say here, this is a capital U. Put a current. Current user ID. And... Um, we're going to compare them based on the current current user ID, like so, and the selected user ID, like so, and uh, the name, and the photo URL, photo URL, URL, like so. So we have the select user event, and um, afterwards we have the we copy this, come down here, and we have the pass user event. The pass user event. The pass user event, and this is going to be current ID. We would get rid of a few. Yeah, and this is supposing that you do not, you click on the X, you don't um, select them. So we could make this past user event and um, this is going to be we need uh, we could get rid of this too like so name and this dot select user id 
and um, yeah, we get rid of this slash too, like so. So basically, that we could have those, and um, those are the four events. It's uh, load user, loaded user, select user. We take the hot past user. We take the X. So those are what we're going to use in our application. We're going to leave things here. Uh, this is a shorter video than others. Uh, in the next video, we're going to set up the the search repository because we need to create the search repository. Yeah, we're going to need to create the search repository and um, also implement the search block. So thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if you have any or question. And um, you can also start the, the repository on GitHub. Uh, have a good day.